Sure, poor career iron top wide receiver slash QB duos in the NFL. Let's look at this list. And who needs to be at the top of this list? I think Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow are pretty close. If I could be an overall team, I think the Bengals in general will be pretty close as well. Your work around number six on this list is the Raiders. Derek Carr and Devontae Adams. I definitely do agree. Probably the best receiver in the NFL. And there's really no way you can really doubt that. And Derek Carr, a very underrated quarterback. In my opinion, I think if Derek Carr, if it was Aaron Rodgers from last year, the MVP Aaron Rodgers, it probably would have been Devontae Adams and Aaron Rodgers probably at number one. They're probably pretty close to last year, or at least at number three. But what do you think about this list? Believe your worker on number five on this list is the Buccaneers, Tom Brady and Mike Evans. Definitely underrated as well. Tom Brady, one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, top five at least. And you have Mike Evans, very underrated wide receiver. In my opinion, they could be higher on this list. A lot of both players are definitely underrated when it goes together with each other. I feel like he's going to get a lot more targets. This year, because Antonio Brown's going to be gone, and a lot of other things are going to change in the situation. Gronk, I think, is going to play. And overall, I think Mike Evans and Chris Godwin are going to get a lot of targets and probably be their best season yet. So watch out for both of them, and maybe pick them up in fantasy. Bleacher Report, you're on number four, Vikings. Kirk Cousins and Justin Jefferson. This is a very good one. Kirk Cousins, very underrated. I would say he's definitely an underrated quarterback. And then Justin Jefferson, probably one of the best receivers in football, top three at least. I feel like Devontae Adams, if he if he isn't really ahead of Justin Jefferson, I'm kind of surprising, but I think Kirk Cousins is probably better than Derek Carr right now. So I think that's probably why they gave the edge to Justin Jefferson and Kirk Cousins. But what do you think about this list overall, and where would you rank these these players? It's your board ground, number three, Bills, Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs. I definitely do agree with this. One of the best wide receiver duos probably in a while. Josh Allen is probably have another great season. They have a very good chance of going to the Super Bowl. I think they're really one of the most favored teams right now of Super Bowl winning, and their teams are stacked in overall. They got Von Miller. That was probably their biggest signing of the offseason. I think that's add a lot on the defense, and they just add a lot of good pieces overall. Super Bowl ground, number two, the Bengals. Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. This is a very good list. I think they definitely deserve to be on this list, and definitely at number two. They really showed their whole run in the playoffs and the Super Bowl how good they were with each other, and Jamar Chase really proved a lot of people wrong. There was a narrative going that he was dropping balls overall in the preseason, and then he really just dominated throughout the regular season, showed why he's one of the best receivers in football, and made himself a top 10 receiver by this year. Bleacher Report, Gary Iron, number one on this list, the Rams, Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup, really showed a lot of greatness during the regular season and postseason. I feel like the main reason why... I feel like they kind of struggled. Matthew Stafford did turn the ball over sometimes, especially when I was playing fantasy. But what do you think about Cooper Cup and 